friends happy Monday it is going to be a warm week here it's already humid out it's supposed to be in the 80s and we got chance of rain for the next three days which we really really need rain so um, it's already it's 9 a.m. and it's 71 degrees out and um, yeah, you can feel it outside already. So, you would have saw this morning I started my yogurt. So, I am doing the um, the whole milk this time that um, Mr. Jerry bought. And I am doing half a gallon. And it's on the boil. And once that hits the 180 degrees... It will beep at me on my Instapot. And on if you have an Instapot, <clears throat> you just click um, yogurt and click it until it hits boil. And then that's all you do. And then you just put the cover back on it. I um, have a clear cover. You can put a plate, anything that will cover it to keep the dust out because it doesn't get up to pressure. And then once that has set, I will take the temperature to make sure it's at 180. Well, actually, I'll let it set for like five minutes <clears throat> after it comes to that. And then um, I'll take you along on it to show you the next steps. But you basically have to let it cool, and that will take a couple hours. So, But anyways, Miss Callie's out here with me, and then I have been in my mornings when I am listening to my um, Bible devotions. I um, crochet. I am working on the pixie dust um, mystery crochet along. Right now I am on the bottom part of the pixie. So the purple right there, this right here is her body. She is setting with her knees up. Here is her leg with her foot. Goes back up to the leg here. This is the beginning of her wing right here. And then there is a flower in between. And then there is a mirror image of another one on this side. This is the leg to the other one. So I'm right here. I'm on row 20, um, row 27, and I have 39 rows. And then I can start. Um, I think clue four. I think this is clue three. So, yeah, or the second. Yeah, this will be clue four. That's this is clue three. And. Um, I did not work on, um, well, I think the yogurt thing just beeped at me. So I'll wait five minutes. Um, so I um, worked on the one sock yesterday. I've got the stitches all picked up for, well, I've got all the stitches picked up and I'm just... Um, decreasing the gusset around the ankle and I think I have I don't know like 14 more rows to do on that but um, other than that it is going to be a household work day I have laundry to do today um, I have a bathroom that um, the counters need to be washed so but first I'm going to enjoy my coffee we are going to have breakfast. Uh, Jerry said he is going to make some um, eggs and some bacon. And we'll have um, a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit um, on those hamburger buns that I made. And um, that will be breakfast. So that will be um, two... That will be, um, I have to think a minute, it'll be eight points because I didn't get, I only got 14, so it'd be six points for the um, bun and two points for the center cut bacon and the egg will be zero. So 
But anyways, I'm going to let you go. I hope that your Monday was a great one. And um, I hope that your weigh-ins this week are great. And if they aren't, remember we had a holiday weekend and we're all going to brush it off <laughs> and start fresh again. So I will chit-chat with you later. Good morning. It is hot out here, humid, but I always like to check the garden before. Well, I just like checking the garden, so, phew, it's warm. But, this is what I see. My potatoes, my corn. So, anyways, it is dry. Dry, dry, dry. And they keep saying we're supposed to get rain, and we didn't get rain last night. So let me flip you around a minute. So my potatoes are coming out. They're a good 36 inches tall, some of these. I got a spider web through here, all through here. The acorn squash right in there, the cucumber. If you look down there, you'll see little flowers. This little guy needs to stay inside a little bit more. <clears throat> I just love how they just are hanging on for dear life. Then my pole beans, they're doing the same thing over here. My corn is getting really tall, but as you can see, the ground looks really dry. So we walk in, come on in, we get greeted by a vine. And I like sticking these vines back in if possible. Not always, but. So. We'll just inspect things down here. Oh, look at in here. Let's see. Oh, there's a flower back there. This one's been doing so well. Oh my goodness, there's a bee in it, pollinating it. And that looks like a beetle. So I'm going to go, that's supposed to rain. There is, I think that's a male. Butternut squash. But you can definitely tell that this is yeah, it's dry. <clears throat> this is my snap peas that are just growing to the heavens. So hopefully not too much longer and I'll start getting some snap peas. But we've been spraying. I was out here yesterday and weeded a little bit. Checking for damages. I see I got some brown spots on that. Being a new gardener, I have no idea what a lot of that means. I always have to Google it. My watermelon has got a little flower. got two of them. These are my shelling peas. And look at my bush beans. Some of them are coming up. Nothing on my peppers yet. I have a feeling even though I protected in here, 
some birds got in here. Nothing on my cabbage. <laughs> there might be something right there, but it's hard to tell. And those are my carrots. But anyways, didn't want to disturb that bee, but there definitely is a beetle. Because that bee's doing what he's supposed to do. But look at him in there. So anyways. I hope you are in for a long one. Because today so far has been a long one. But anyways. I'm going to get out of the sun. Whew. Got the yogurt going. I forgot to record that point. It got, I let it cool for, till it got down between, it says 105, 110. It was like 106. So I added my two tablespoons of the active um, live Greek yogurt. Mix that in and now it's, um, then I went back to the, put it in the Instant Pot. <clears throat> And then I hit yogurt function and I hit it until it went to the medium setting. And then I set the timer for eight hours this time. Last time I did 10, it was a little tart. So we're gonna try eight. And then we'll see if I need to, to strain it at all. So, but anyways, and so far I started it at 8.30 and it is 10.30. And so that's how long it's taken so far, so. But anywho. All before my second cup of coffee, laundry going. I gotta do some online banking stuff, and well, actually, Jerry just did that for me, so I have to reach out to a merchant to say um, he double charged me on something. So, all on a Monday. But, anyways, I'm gonna go inside. It is warm out here, so talk to you later my friends before I go in there's Miss Callie she's always looking out aren't you a pretty girl if I open the door she'll come out I'll have to back her up but anyways there's Callie hey friends so it is now um, after four in the afternoon and we're supposed to be getting um, some rain hopefully fingers crossed um, the garden really needs it my flowers really need it so but um, I got the last load of laundry in the dryer I have a load on the bed I have to fold yet my yogurt is still in the Instapot doing its thing about 6.30 um, because I'm only doing eight hours instead of 10. Um, then I can take it out and see um, about if it needs to be strained or not. And then so that will be done. I'll set in the refrigerator. I'll probably strain it because the last one wasn't thick like Greek yogurt but more like Yoplait yogurt which not, nothing bad with that. So. Um, and then um, I just got in the pressure canner um, baked beans going so I'm just waiting for it to beep at me to tell me to go put the vent or the regulator up on top of it so then um, it can finish building up pressure to um, do the 75 minutes of pressure canning so we are doing a total of 14 pints, but today I'm only going to get seven because um, we needed the navy beans for it. And Jerry didn't go into town until, I don't know, almost lunchtime. So. And a lunch did not have lunch. Breakfast filled me right up. And I did snack on um, some cantaloupe. I had probably a cup and a half of cantaloupe. I just had a uh, laughing cow wedge with like three or four pretzels. That's it. 
because then I went in and Jerry came in and he was helping and we got the jars all filled with all the good ingredients and everything so but we're figuring 14 pints will do him and I um, pretty much for the year because we don't eat baked beans a lot a lot but for the two of us um, it will give us two meals so and so I got that going but other than that <sighs> Hopefully you are doing well. Um, congratulations, Miss Janet. I am so stinking proud of you. Um, and congratulations to anybody else who has lost this week. And like I always say, and congratulations for even if you gained and you got right back up on that saddle and you just are saying, nope, I'm going to keep going. Um, like I've been reminded, it's hard to lose in the summer, even though it seems like y'all are doing it. My back to basics is working for y'all, and I'm so stinking happy that it does. I just wish it would work for me more. Um, I am still weighing and measuring everything. It's just that I am just snacking to beat the band. And it's not bad snacking either, because, you know, everything that is counted for is just that I am using up um, all my weeklies and I know for me if I use up all my weeklies and my daily points I tend not to lose or I tend to gain just a little bit so I'm hoping tomorrow it will be a maintain or actually a loss that would be great because I'm getting a little discouraged so um, I've been pushing the fluids. I have been moving more than I normally do. You know, for me, the non-scale victory for me is, is how much more energetic I am feeling. How much more I'm getting things done when I feel good because I don't have a sinus headache or whatever. And um, I miss that. And so that was good. Another non-scale victory is is on my on my bra. I was able to cinch it in one more hook. So um, I'm looking for those small things. You know, I'm looking for sleeping that I'm sleeping better. You know, I I'm not making myself sick from eating something that I shouldn't eat when I know better. Um, so, but yeah. It's getting dark out. I have the shades closed, the blackout shades, because it's supposed to be humid all week. We're supposed to be in the high 80s. Humidity is just like August humidity here in Michigan, which is high. So the air is running. And so, but other than that, I just wanted to say, hey, um, I was going to let you know on the weekends. Um, that's probably how the weekends are going to be. They're going to be just video, hardly any chit-chatting. And um, there might not be videos on Sundays. So which means Monday there might not be a video. I'm just feeling the, the pull that I'm not supposed to be doing it on Sundays. And um, so i got to listen to that poll. So... Um, if you don't ever see a video on Monday, it's because I did not record on Sunday. And I know there is a community tab or something up there. Um, I will try to post it up there so that you won't be looking for a video on Monday. So, um, but other than that, my feet are up for a good hot minute, hopefully. And then um, I'm going to continue to work on the first um, sock right here, the July sock. It is um, a yarnable sock, and I think it was called Some, Some Bunny. Some Bunny loves, loves You or something like that. So, And then next to me, Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. She's been not feeling well. She's been really jumpy today. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. 
And she's not eating. She's eating the dry food that she really doesn't care for. That is part of her um, kidney food. So we have these every once in a while. And maybe she senses the a storm that's supposed to be here about 6 o'clock. So I don't know. She's been good for quite some time. And then just today, she hasn't hardly ate at all. So, but anywho, stay strong, my friends. As always, thanks again. Um, and I will see you, well, hopefully on Tuesday. But if not, you'll be seeing snippets of the rest of my day. Um, oh, I did try to make croutons again. Um, on my leftover bread, I just look up a recipe on how to do croutons and I let the um, bread, you know how your bread will sometimes start to get stale? If you chop it all up, put it in a, um, a dish or whatever, let it air dry um, so it gets really stale. And then you just, well the recipe I use, is for six cups of cube bread but um, I use um, like three tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil and then whatever seasonings that you want um, I put in um, some onion powder a little bit of garlic powder um, I can't do a lot of those because it, my sister does doesn't like it especially the garlic um, and some rosemary and a quarter cup of Parmesan, shredded Parmesan, the bottle, whatever. Salt, pepper. I think that's about it. But really you can use whatever. If you got croutons, look on the back of your crouton package and see what seasonings that they put in but it really if you google google it you get lots of ideas but then you basically you mix it all together the melted butter the olive oil and the seasonings and the breadcrumbs dump it out on a, a cookie sheet and spread it out and i bake mine at 350 for 15 minutes and halfway through um give it a good mix around stir and then um, let it finish and then let it um, cool off and then it should be nice and crunchy. So um, it's another way of using up leftover bread instead of throwing it out. So, but anyways, I did that today too. So I told you, I just been a, as my mom calls me, a Betty Cracker today. So, but that's all right. I like Susie Homemaker better. <laughs> but anyways, thanks my friends, and I will talk to Oh, I got a notification. Storms are entering my area. Yeah, I know, it's getting dark. <laughs> so thanks again. Thank you for all the encouragement. Welcome to any new subscribers. My numbers just keep going up and down and stalling, but that's all right. I, I got all the important ones on here, don't I? So... And I appreciate um, all your comments, and I appreciate um, the encouragement that you always leave me. So, as always, thanks, friends.